Content warnings. Alcohol, amputation, asphyxiation, body horror, blood, cannibalism, claustrophobia, darkness, demons, drowning, drug use, edemophobia, eye horror, ghosts, gore, incest, insects, jump scares, medical abuse, medical malpractice, orientalism, racism, sexual violence, self-harm, stalking, suicide, torture, undead, unreality, <clears throat> All right, so let us begin. So last time I finished up uh, destroying uh, J Teresa's museum exhibit, so now I'm going to hang out at the diner with Jeanette. Oof. I need to find a snack. Are you? All right, I guess we'll just do it. need a snack. Hello? It was a setup. Listen, I know we've had our differences, but you have to trust me. Therese tried to have you killed. I had to lock myself in the bathroom because now she's got a gun and... Please, you have to help me! Slow down, tell me what happened. Therese knew it was you at the gallery all along. She set you up and... <gasps> Did you hear that? She's crazy. She paid those thieves for a hit. She'll kill anyone who gets in the way of her becoming the top dog of Santa Monica. All right, I'm coming over, goodbye. Hurry, I don't know how much longer I have. I'm on my way. I'm gonna take that shotgun. All right. That wasn't so bad, actually. I thought that was gonna be harder. So,
stay out of this. To think anyone would risk their life for this filthy, tainted waste of blood. This will just make it easier to kill both of you. Help! Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear! Shut up, Jeanette. I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling this the shots. Game. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? What's going on here? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence or you're dead. Go on, Jeanette. Had his way with you. And he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter until... Shut up. Just shut up! Stop it, Jeanette. That's right, Jeanette. No one wants to hear your lies. I was the good girl. You were the wicked one. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me. Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. You know, at any point, you we probably could have just you grabbed the gun life until the end of time? while they monologued no, or sister. argued or whatever the fuck you want to coming since our say. last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. And that doesn't give you the right to tell her what to do. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. You're right, Jeanette. Therese tried to have me killed. Therese will never let you live. You've disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. And what happened to your father, Therese? I was always good to father. But Jeanette made him miserable. Over the years, it all became too much for him. I think she broke his heart. So he killed himself right in our room. Killed himself? Therese! You placed his finger on the trigger once you blew his mind all over the silly clown wallpaper. Right after he found me in your bed and thought I was you. He was always angry at you. You drove him to drink. When he died, he was in torment. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. I don't believe you, Jeanette. Yes, I shouldn't. I'm afraid, sister. I must write your ending in this family saga. And I want you to know I do so with great anguish and disappointment. I had such hopes that you'd change for the better with my guidance. But so, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? Give me the gun. Uh-oh. Somebody died. I should turn this on you next, but I won't. Without Jeanette's assistance. Tongue, you. All right, we got uh, Therese. I'll call off the feud if that will get you out of my city. Okay. Bye. Tongue's hiding out in an abandoned oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business then is finally complete. What you witnessed here, not a word to anyone. Understood. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Bertram. Oh, 
Really? Can you move? Let's go talk to Bertram. He's over here. We are living in the last days of the last age of mankind. Repent your wickedness and the cold in need. Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, did you, sweetheart? You know what I was looking for you? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Ah, oh, so you're who I'm waiting on. Hmm. Someone must have faith in you, Cupcake. That, or they want you out of the picture. <laughs> Interesting choice either way. It must be Bertram Tongue. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, Fledgling. I know who you are. You do? News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <sighs> How interesting. That's great. So you know I survived. Oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I need to get to the warehouse for Mercurio. Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. And the Sabbat? The Sabbat. Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not gonna say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, because none of us are the good guys here. But the Sabbat, they glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it. And go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. But I should only expect to counter humans there. As far as I can tell, the humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. They know they're working for vampires? Yeah. The Sabbat like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. Can you get me in there without being detected? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. I was born ready. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. Let's kill this dude. There's a box over here. Come on. Oh look, ammo. I've been playing too much ESO. I keep thinking E will close things. I don't know why I tried that. That just did not work out. Nothing in there. Okay.
I'm gonna eat him because I need some some blood. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna mosey on over this way. Finally got my healer in ESO to level 50. Super excited for that. I might turn her into a vampire, I'm not sure yet. Alright, let's see if that keeps my throat clear. But, um, yeah, I got her to level 50. So now she earned CP points instead of regular. Yo, the to the freight here? house! Hmm. How would I not yeah. be able to figure this out on my own? Some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is. Hey, where you going? not able to do this today. Alright. Let's go and find some more people to kill. Let's go get this dude up here. Scared for whoever decides to come and get a piece of this. Hey, quit waving that thing around. Fucking explosives all over the place. You're trying to blow us up or something? I'm gonna get you. Oh shit.
going, please. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Why am I not feeding off of you? Freeze, motherfucker! There we go. That was weird. Very glitchy. Not a fan. those people. I'm gonna go this way now. This is so much easier as a Tremere. I always struggled with this part because of the shotgun, but... I guess I ended up back here, so it's fine. <sighs> this game, so glitchy. they do. Nom nom. Let's see what's in here. Can you like, I don't know. you, gangster guy, with your fucking red suit. Oh, 
Okay. I'm just checking. I am just checking. Can I take any of these? No. Okay. Let's arm the astrolite. Let's get out of here. Do da, do da. rather smoothly. Oh look, there's a wolfie. Hi wolfie. The warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume? Yeah, that was me. Hopefully no Sabat saw you escape. They can be somewhat antagonistic. Who are you and why have you been following me? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? I saw a ghost at a local hotel. A ghost? Hm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay oh, rates sorry. no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. I met some kindred on the beach that didn't seem like kindred. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. The Santa Monica Baron has a split personality. She's undoubtedly Malkavian. Or should I say, they are undoubtedly Malkavian. Other than that, I haven't really seen anything extraordinary. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful, you're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Night, Beckett. Alright. We are done that part. Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man. There's going to be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Thanks. Do you know someone named Beckett? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? 
I spoke with him. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Hmm. Bertram, I have some serious questions for you. What do you need? I met your ghoul, Knox. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. You knew I did. I knew you would. I had him watching you know who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. It sure did seem like he was expecting me. Come on, Fledgling, don't ever think you're ahead of the ball in this game. No matter what action you take, some kindred you never even met already foresaw it and found a way to profit from it. But he needed my help. I killed an Asian vampire who was stalking him. No. You helped me remove a spy without revealing myself or getting my hands dirty. Pretty good actor, that Knox, huh? Well played, Bertram. Well played. Don't take it hard, Cupcake. I won't be the last elder to milk you for a favor. I want to ask about someone else. Sure. What do you think of Prince LaCroix? What am I gonna say? He's the boss now. Yeah, what about that guy who had decapitated my sire? He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really, except LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. I wanted to ask but someone else. Sure. What From about Nines Rodriguez? He's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. Can I ask you about someone else? Sure. The scene is dead. I'm. You better get here. back downtown. Prince Lacroix is gonna want to hear all about this victory. Cat, can you come sit on my lap, please, so I can play my game? I need your butt in my lap. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's see if I can break it. Tuna! Oh no, it's his tongue. Would've been funnier if it was tuna. Thank you, I have a little friend. She's sitting in my lap. Um, I want to see you soon. I'm bored, can't you come entertain me? I'm at the club, XOXOXO. Birdie, the stick in the mud is mad. You better lie low for a while. Oops. Asylum? Oh. Run by Vampiric Sisters. I like Jeanette better than Therese. Gallery Noir. There's a back entrance in the alley. Weak pipes between the parking structure and the alley could be broken off. I already know about that. Thank you. Whee! Okay. So I finished that. My little baby is, is fidgety. Where to? Just drive. I had to gotta go downtown now. I gotta go say hi to LaCroix. Tell him I finished his job. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, lick. <laughs> Let's pull out its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. 
I want its teeth. Camarilla fuck. Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. I don't want to get wet. Son of a bitch! Leave. Thank you, Nines. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you going to do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Bye. Trouble sure seems to like you. Mm hmm Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. Thanks for the help. Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the burbs. I'll remember that. You do that. Me? I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. Um, I'll do that. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. <laughs>